Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Of course, my name is Blitzwinger and welcome on back to another free roam gameplay showcase for LEGO Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. Today we're going to be taking a look at Boy Blunder. Oh, I mean Boy Wonder himself, <laughs> Robin. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to give shout out to my boy, the Joker, who of course calls Mr. Boy Wonder Boy Blunder. Nonetheless, of course, here is Mr. Robin, or at least the default version of Robin. I wanted to mention that because a lot of people were like, hey, wait a minute, aren't there other Batmans when I did the Batman showcase? You're 100% correct about that. Like, for example, there is the 1966 Batman. There is the Darkest Night Batman. There's also the Zur and Earth, or Zur and R uh, Batman. I'll be doing those separately simply because they don't classify under the same character class and obviously that's the default Batman that we get. So the same goes with Robin. There's obviously different variations of him, but we will be covering the default uh, Robin first. Okay, you know what? I need I need Batman to change outfits here because whenever he has that one on, for some reason he'll, he's always like punching stuff and stuff like that. I don't know what's up with that. But uh, nonetheless, here is Robin. He obviously looks pretty awesome. I love this outfit. I love the colors here, so I'm A-OK -okay with it. I know some people wanted to see the Damian Wayne outfit more so than this one, but I'm not 100% certain. I don't remember now for some reason. Did he make it into the game or not? I think he might be in the game. I really, really do. He might just be in the game. So I'm not sure about that. But if he is, I'll obviously make a showcase for that as well. However, I love this outfit. I think it looks awesome. I think it's really, really neat. Of course, this is the outfit uh, that he had or similar outfit to what he had in Lego Batman 2 uh, in terms of colors and stuff like that. Today, by the way, we are indeed in the Cave, So we're exploring a different uh, hub world this time around. And, uh, of course, just like with Batman, Robin gets lots and lots of suits. He gets plenty of different suits uh, to utilize, uh, plenty of different suits available to him in terms of uh, selection of which one you would like to play as. So, if we bring up his selection wheel, you can see he also sports eight suits, and he also does like to do the, I whip my hair back and forth dance, as you can see. Look at him. Look at him. He's like, whoa, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> okay, so... Let's kick things off with the hazard suit. So, just like Batman, he has some suits that are not new in terms of being completely new because we've seen them before in the previous LEGO Batman games. However, they have been either upgraded or at least visually aesthetically changed. So, at least that is definitely a positive. So, here's the hazard suit, which is, of course, what I like to call the vacuum cleaner suit. Sorry about that. And uh, basically what you would typically would do with this suit, if you remember, is obviously suck up these little like uh, green, red, and uh, yellow bits. And as you collect them, then there's all these little um, containers that you load up uh, into. And then once you've uh, loaded up into them, you can then go on ahead and um, get, be rewarded with either an item that is involved in the main storyline or oftentimes you'll be rewarded with a mini kit or another collectible. So that's pretty sweet indeed and obviously it's a suit that is used uh, quite often in the main game actually and I was kind of surprised by that because I didn't expect it. Uh, as far as fighting and stuff like that, you can obviously see that um, it's got this kind of like a blast, like a wind blast type thing going on. So I guess uh, typically like a... Vacuum cleaner, it's got another setting where instead of blowing, it's uh, blasting away. So it's like a awesome fart gun, I guess, which is kind of cool <laughs> and hilarious. But uh, let's move on to the next suit. So, of course, the next suit is the Techno suit, which is one of the new suits that we have. And it's a really, really cool suit. Basically, what it allows you to do is interact with these little panels uh, that are like Techno panels, uh, which is fun, of course. And uh, you, you, do, you do utilize the Techno suit many, many a times uh, in the game, not just as Robin, but also as Lex Luthor and some of the other characters that have it. But the really cool thing is this. By tapping the circle button, you summon a mini Robin, which I love. <laughs> this thing is awesome. It's like a snowboarder slash uh, surfboarder slash, uh, oh, I guess it'd be a, sur a surfer, not a surfboarder. Uh, and it's just a really, really neat uh, suit. I really like this design. I think it's really cool. And uh, I love how he's got the little button in the center with the big R <laughs> logo on it. Uh, it doesn't do anything in terms of attacks, unfortunately. That would be really cool if it could like actually do some attacking and stuff like that. But uh, it does interact with the same portals that this suit interacts with. So you would have to have um, a portal with which you could interact. I wonder if there was one in here. I don't remember. I don't think there is one. If there is one, it might be down here. So let me just go check that out real quick. I just would like to double check. Because if there is one, it would be down in this area. Uh, nope, that's not what I'm looking for. 
Yeah, just as I thought, there isn't one in here. There is one in here in the actual game. Unfortunately, there isn't one in the free room, though, that you could interact with. But uh, nonetheless, of course, let's move on to the next suit, which is suit number three. This one is another one of the new suits, and it's awesome. This is the illumination suit, which... Pretty much just as it sounds, it illuminates things. So basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to walk into like really dark parts and then using your little light bulbs and stuff, you can light it up and therefore cause the environment to interact with you. So it's not a very practical suit in terms of battles because, I mean, you don't get anything new with it except like, you know, uh, you get your baton to throw around and stuff like that, but you don't get any new... Um, weapons or anything like that, so it's just a suit that is used primarily uh, in terms of like to puzzle solve and stuff like that, but it is certainly very, very cool. It does require a charge up similarly to Batman's space suit, if you remember. This suit also does require you to walk up to these uh, charge up stations, and then once you charge up Robin, you will be able to light him up better. So, next up after that, we've got the dive suit, which actually I've never used in the main storyline. Uh, but I um, I definitely find to be a pretty cool suit uh, because of course it allows you to dive on down It's very old-school looking as you can see in terms of like having the uh, bulky helmet and everything So I love that about it. I also really like the blaster that they give you uh, because it's just cool to have this uh, Laser blast now available to Robin as well. So not only does Batman have uh, a laser blaster this time around in the game with the spacesuit or like a heat blaster with the spacesuit. Now Robin has one as well uh, with his diving suit, which is awesome. And of course, as you saw right there, it's very useful for collecting stuff from the water, such as studs and oftentimes other collectibles and such. So very, very, very cool suit indeed. And I definitely like the uh, overall layout and design of this thing. It's definitely really, really uh, kind of old school, but at the same time, I think it just looks really sweet. So, from this point, let's then move on to the next suit, which is the helmet suit. Is this really what it's called? Yeah, it is. Okay, so of course, if you can see that helmet, you kind of know what that helmet is. That is, of course, Dr. Fate's helmet. And uh, something happens in the story. I'm not going to spoil the main game for you guys, but... Something happens and uh, Robin gets his hands on this suit. And uh, from what I remember, I think that this suit does give Robin the ability to mind control, which is obviously pretty handy. That's a really, really cool ability to have. And um, it's really cool that Robin was given that ability. As you know, Batman does not have that. So it's pretty cool that uh, you still do have the kind of duo thing going on where, you know, each one completes the other, like when you're playing in co-op and stuff like that. Some abilities that Robin has, Batman doesn't have, and vice versa. So it still kind of makes both team members feel important. So I love that about it. I think it looks awesome. It's obviously not that cool in terms of visually, because except for the helmet, it looks exactly the same. It would have been really cool if like the color of the suit changed to like a purple or like a blue or something. I think that would have been really neat, but I still think it looks pretty awesome. So next up, we move on to a suit that we actually did have in the previous Lego Batman game, if you remember, and that is of course the magnet suit, but it's been upgraded as I said before. All the suits that we have seen before still do look somewhat different to a certain extent, such as the Magnet suit does. For example, of course, you can see it does look quite substantially different. We have this really cool kind of um, dome type thing going on now, so I really love that design. Uh, it almost looks like a motorcycle helmet, in my opinion, which looks super duper sweet. I really, really like the way that that turned out, and uh, I definitely am happy with the way that the Magnet suit looks now. I also love how when you slam down, the, did you see that? There's two different colors that appear, so it's like one for positives, one for negatives, the blue and the red and everything. Uh, and it also carries on to the other magnet suits in the game, so it's pretty cool that all of them share the whole idea of kind of um, creating the suit that is half blue and half red. So I definitely like that. It looks super duper cool, and uh, it's definitely quite neato indeed on Mr. Robin. Again, I don't have much to say about it because, of course, it's a repeat suit, so it doesn't have any changes to upgrades. Like, of course, it allows you to interact with blue uh, Lego pieces and stuff like that, which is used quite often in the game as well. And you will actually use it quite often as Robin in the game. But uh, at the same time, 
Uh, it does have, of course, its uh, drawbacks because it is the same suit as we have seen before in regards to what it does. It doesn't have any new uh, qualities in that regard, but at least it does have aesthetically new qualities, which is awesome. So then we move on to the last and final suit, which is the Sphere suit, aka, of course, it's similarly to the Acrobat suit that we had in the uh, previous game, except with this suit, you don't get the... Um, baton throwing that the acrobat suit had now uh, that is pretty much available with most of the other robins except for this one and of course this suit allows you to turn into a sphere which is awesome aka the hamster ball suit as i like to call it <laughs> and then you can go whoa i've never tried to go on the stairs that's really fun oh wait okay let's get up there i want to ride down the stairs that should be pretty fun in the sphere that would be awesome okay so let's take a nice speed or a nice uh, charge up, and then we gotta roll. Okay, move Batman, move Batman. Sorry about that. I'm <laughs> sorry, Batman. I'm going hamster mode. Whoa! <laughs> so of course, this is a suit that is used um, for powering like different switches and stuff like that. Exactly the same as it did in Lego Batman 2, but it does look visually different. And I actually really, really love the blue design uh, on Robin because it kind of reminds me of like a stealth type suit, which looks super duper sweet. And I definitely do support the blue costume right here for Mr. Robin himself. Now, of course, just like with Batman, you can go ahead and rotate out and in of the suit quicker in a quicker succession by instead of bringing up the wheel, which uh, I was doing the whole time to show you the logos for each one of the suits and stuff like that. But if you don't like that, what you can do is you can just go ahead and use the little uh, trigger buttons in the back or, um, I, yeah, they are the triggers, I'm pretty sure. And uh, by pressing those, for example, on the PlayStation 4, it's R2, I can just cycle through the costumes back and forth. So let's say I'm like, oh, I need to get to the magnet suit. And then I'll keep clicking, clicking. There's the illumination suit. There's the dive suit. There's the helmet suit. And then, of course, we get to the magnet suit. And I skipped my mistake. I don't have to cycle through all the way back. I can just flip back and bam, we got to the costume that we want. So it's pretty handy. I definitely like it. And it's definitely quite cool indeed. So with all that being said, guys, let me know which is your favorite Robin suit in the comment section below. Of course, stay tuned for some of the other Robin showcases as well. And of course, next time, one of the character showcases is going to be up to you guys. So let me know in the comment section below which character you would like to see showcase out of the ones that I have unlocked. There's still a lot. Lots and lots of locks, as you can see. So as we do these uh, free roam gameplay showcases, more and more of these are going to... Where did that come from? Did you guys hear that? Harley Quinn is somewhere. We got to find her. We have to find her. <laughs> okay, I'm excited now. That's really cool. So that being said, of course, don't forget to have a fan fantastic day. Let me know which character you would like to see next. And uh, I'm just going to hint. I'm going to hint, guys. You might want to see this guy because he's awesome. <laughs> so, with all that being said, have a fan fantastic day. Don't forget to smash that like button. If we could hit 750 likes again, that would be spectacular. And, of course, as always, have a fan fantastic day. I'll see you guys later. Alligators. Bye-bye, guys.